Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. Just wanted to give you a couple of quick options. Uh, if you run out of inputs, physical connectors on your Behringer wing. So I am on a wing full-size console here. I'll give you my scenario and I'll give you a couple of options just that people may not think about. Uh, so you're obviously limited to on the wing, eight local inputs, and then you have your stage snakes. So those are gonna be a lot harder to run out of, uh, but it can happen. So you can have up to 144 actual inputs on this console, um, but you gotta do it in a few different ways. So here's my scenario. I have all of my wireless mics here with me at front of house. So I'm plugging those in directly to the console, and then I have a stage snake connected over AES-50 uh, on my stage. So I got plenty of inputs there, but I only have eight inputs here at front of house. Uh, the other day we bought a new microphone and didn't really think it through that we're actually already using all of the eight local inputs. So I have wireless microphones and I also have a stereo pair coming from a computer uh, plugged in as well. So if you're out, what are your options? So the wing does support some other protocols. So that's, you know, obviously you could get a stage snake, you could plug that in right next to your, your wing and have some more inputs. But if you don't want to do that, uh, you have USB and you have Dante are two options that I want to talk about today. USB is built into the Dante. Some people may not realize. So if you go to your routing menu and you go to sources and we say USB audio, you have 48 channels uh, over USB. So there's a USB port on the back of the wing, a USB B port, a lot of people call it a printer cable. Uh, you can literally plug the wing in via USB to a computer and that can act, uh, send and receive 48 channels. So here's my scenario. I'm currently using two XLRs to do stereo left and right from my computer. I can get rid of those two XLRs, free up two channels, and I can do that over USB. Plug that USB cable into my computer and send it just through uh, USB. Uh, I use multi-tracks playback. I've also used Ableton uh, for tracks. So you might have you know, who knows, 16, 20, 25 tracks uh, that you're trying to send in as well. So um, obviously not 25, but maybe you're doing click, guide, and tracks, you know, local. Maybe you got the computer sitting right next to you. So you're using three XLRs coming out of an interface on your computer to get that in. You can switch that over to USB as well and, and free up those connectors. You can do the same thing with Dante. Now, Dante is not built into the wing, so it is a card that you have to buy. But once you have that card, uh, you have 64 in and out extra inputs uh, on the wing. If you don't know exactly how Dante works, I have some videos explaining some basics of that setup. I'll link to that uh, as well. So once you have uh, Dante, you can do a couple things. You can get the Dante Virtual Sound Card, which is a piece of software that will run on a computer, and it will give you digital inputs and outputs on the computer between the computer and your wing. So again, not USB, but over you know a Cat5, Cat6 connector, you can create a Dante network, put Dante virtual sound card on that computer, which I have other videos on how to set up. And you can get that stereo pair from the computer into the wing, again, freeing up those two channels. Uh, you can do the exact same thing with you know playback, Ableton. You can send all that over Dante. So again, that is an external card. I'll link to you know the card, what you're needing, uh, there to do it and I'll link to all my other videos but just wanted to give you a few options on if you run out of physical XLR inputs you know what you could do uh, to get that in I did want to throw in I forgot one thing uh, Dante also makes I mean there's lots of products that support Dante so you can do the Dante virtual sound card which is a piece of software they also make a it's called a Dante Avio A-V-I-O uh, it's a piece of hardware that takes and converts XLR to Dante. So you could get that and get any XLR source in over Dante, freeing up those XLR connections. I'll link to that uh, below as well. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. 
Look forward to seeing you soon.